Get down here and turn this on high. There you are. There's the light on high. All right, guys, we are back on another review. We have the Cobalt Tower Light, 3,000 luminous on high and up to 12 hours of runtime. Big old box here. You guys get this? So we're gonna go over here. We've got three settings, 3,018 and 900 luminous. Please sure those are high, medium, and lows. We have a seven foot extended height, three foot collapsible height, which is pretty good. All that need a fun stuff. So, yep, there, right there. Specification 3000 high. Up to 12 hours on low setting with a 4 0 battery. That's actually pretty good because we got some 6 0s and some 8 0 batteries. So that would last got 24 hours on low. So it'd be decently mounted priced. So let's get this opened up, pulled out, see how it looks. Alright. So the noise is calmed down now. Let's take a look at this in this box. Shall we? Pop this open here. Well, it comes with a nice set of little instructions. Probably telling you that A, hey, this is the lighting, how to do it, blah, 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 keep it clean. Cardboard here. Comes all nice and wrapped up. I guess the foot decided to kind of expand itself. Oops, I'm not really showing you guys much. So it looks like that's the feet. Looks like it locks into place, which is kind of nice. Ah, these look like the uh, the lights here. And it's nice that they're all in the directional too. That's nice to go three. Oh, almost a 360 all the way around. That's nice. So this is seven feet up. What does it extend? That's nice. Let's see if we do this one handed here. Try to hold this. Okay. That works. We'll just bring it up there for now. I'm pretty sure this will go up even higher. It's just trying to hold it. One hand. There we go. <clears throat> So it's up, it's actually, it's about seven feet. It's not all the way up to the bottom, it's not in all the way, but let's bring this back down a little bit here. Let's grab a battery and uh, throw it in here real quick. So we got ourselves a little battery. The battery situations is right here at the bottom. Slides in. Cool. Looks like this is the power button. Yeah. Well, there's the lighting on it. So high, medium, low. I think we might have to push the button again. Yep, so you got your, there's your high, your medium, your low. That's actually pretty cool. I'm not sure what these are for. We can look at the manual though. Probably find out. Might be levelers. If it's not level, keep it level. That's actually pretty cool. And they said this was, whoa, collapsible. So let's put this down. Oh, I guess there's a little button you gotta push right here to get the legs to come up. Ooh. Yeah, it's actually uh, pretty light, pretty nice. For being short, compact. So let's close the garage here, turn the lights off and see actually what the brightness is on this thing. Alright, well here we go. We are closing down to go into darkness. I try this light out in the dark. How well it is. There we are. Light in the dark. Let's get down here and turn this on high. There you are. There's the light on high. You can barely see back there, but we can adjust these lights, I believe. We can turn them. Yep. Just like that. This is actually pretty cool. Lights up the whole garage. That's on high. See if we can hit low or medium. There's medium. Still pretty good on light. And there's low. Still can see everything pretty good though. 
Wow. This is actually an extension lock. So yeah, it is for like leveling if it's on level. We can uh, <clears throat> make the stance wider too or level it. We don't want blown over have it says stance or level. So it gives it more of a a stance looks like, which is actually cool. I didn't show you. <laughs> stance, screw this guy, unscrew it, it'll show a stance. They just gotta move down a little bit. Come on. It's hard to do everything one handed. There we go. Use it for leveling. Just pop it up, make it a little more level. Or stance it so you can actually have more of a stance because like wind and whatever else. I also did say if you want to these holes in the feet, you can actually anchor it down to the ground with like little tent stakes or whatever. And actually, that's kind of a cool idea too if you don't want to blow it when it's windy. Everything's nice and compact. And it all goes together here. Pretty nifty. I also like this feature too. If you unscrew this here, we have a quarter inch tripod mount, which is nice because you can actually mount like the camera to it. Like me, I'd probably use it for camera, but then you can angle it for like lighting and stuff um, somehow. <laughs> but uh, you can put the camera on it, it uses a tripod too, as well. That's actually kind of nice. Screw it on there and have the camera up there. So that's another feature I like. I like you get a couple holes for, I don't know, the screwdrivers or things on each side or if they're just what they are. I'm not 100 percent sure, but that is the light, ladies and gentlemen. Well, over here, we're going to try it out. Get some more uh, reviews on see how things go with it. And then that uh, looks pretty good. I like how it's compact and small. It's lightweight. You can still carry it around with the battery in it. It has a 12-hour runtime on low on a 4.0. We'll probably stick a 5.0 or a 6 in there when we actually go out and use it, which is actually make it run longer. But that guy, that's actually a really good little light setup. But you get like power outages and things like that. Or out camping, or if we go out in the quads overnight, you get throw it on the back there, just take it with us. Um, other than that, guys, just check out local reviews. Looks like it's pretty good, pretty bright, pretty good. I'm pretty impressed with that. So. I'll give you some more reviews later, like in a month or so. And then that, uh, you give it a thumbs up if you want to subscribe more, subscribe for more, like, comment, share it, all this fun stuff. Uh, more reviews coming soon. or reviews on the stuff later on with everything. So, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.